Lucy to All right, so we're getting into game one here. Now, ooh, one thing that we were seeing in the uh, earlier set was the spacing with Squirrel was so good. You know, he's a tiny little, little, little turt, and that means that he, Mr. E has to be more careful with where he's placing his hitbox. Oh. And that, that is the guy, though. <laughs> I'm not seeing a lot of spacing coming out from Squirtle, but the way that stock opened up, E overextended, and Squirtle just said, I'm going in. Wow. And already we have to switch to Ivysaur now. And this could be big for either player. Ivysaur is the most likely to actually trap at the corner, which is... Jesus Christ, that DI the back was not good. Oh, How did he get by that? I, okay, Quid's Ivysaur disadvantage is maybe the best Ivysaur disadvantage in the world. Like, I, he manages to get out of these situations that uh, he has no right getting out of. Absolutely. <laughs> what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was so, I, I love the idea behind it. It didn't really pan out, though. And, yeah, he's going to have to stay Charizard. The extra weight is just too much to, you know, give up on right now. Especially against the Cena. See, any of the care, any of the Pokemon would have died to that bear. Oh no! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Calm go. down. Oh. <laughs> Do you see, he's smirking a little bit. He's like, well, yeah, if, if he had shielded, it would have broken his shield. That's it what he's going for. Oh my God, he's a madman. It's like if that had happened, I, I mean. Ah, he's got some quiz aggressive landing from aggressive landing. Oh, okay. Oh, Here's the opening. Again, falling out of that back here. That must be uh, Mr. E's oh, SDI yeah. coming in much. Wonderful <laughs> SDI, too. We saw like the start of frames of down air, I think that was. But Mr. E's, the fact that he has these hitboxes that he can throw out so quickly are really helping him out in the matchup right now. What up there have killed? It's kind of an interesting option for you to go for. Oh, oh. and there the upper will kill. Yeah, Charles out of the right switch there. I can't believe you like opted to land right into him. That he just <laughs> he's violent. I'm telling you, man. Quid is kind of violent. Quid is kind of violent with what he's playing. Okay, back is gonna do that. Both of them kind of just trading stocks right here, but the way is, if they keep trading, the way it's going, Quid is going to take it. Alright, he, he getting the first hit in. Oh boy. Doesn't get the double parry on that. Oh, I'm sorry. That was, that was so godlike. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Please, uh, please, yo, you're, uh, you're, um, you're cl you seem to be doubting that it's Mr. E's SDI. Uh, now, yes, it could in fact just be that uh, Squirtle's back air is a move that just doesn't function sometimes. Let's keep it that way. But I don't, I don't wait, get everything no, no, but, but no, no, no. I prefer to interpret it that uh, Mr. E's just SDI. He's just a really We're gonna good go player. We're going to go with that one. He is a fantastic player. Fantastic. Phenomenal player. <laughs> That's why he's SDI in that back here. <laughs> wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Game, game two is going to a much larger stage. Uh, much, a lot, kind of like an SD, SD-like stage. Oh. Easy up here. Yeah, but he baited it out, and that might lead to a bunch of damage right here. Ah, he just looking for that tech roll away, but Mr. E being very careful in those mix-up situations. Oh, he's so go for up damage right now. He went for it. No, he didn't. Not he the upbeat. I mean, like, the forwarder. He's <laughs> oh, yeah. For, he's going for the swing. <laughs> I was looking for the upbeat, dude. Uh, that's the, you you want to trade that stack? This early? Uh, <laughs> the, the, the amount of mental damage it would do. That's true. You're right. It's not about and getting the stock. It's about sending a message. Yeah, and not only that, like, he might die first regardless, so. Nice. Let's cancel. Let's cancel the Razor Leaf. Quid also always really good with that when it comes to uh, getting back onto oh. late with Leds with Ivy Soar. You know, Quid in general, he doesn't often play the Charizard, you know. It's definitely of his three characters, it's probably the weakest. 
But his Charizard only when his Charizard comes out, there's so many times where it just it clutches. You know what I mean? Clutch guard. Ooh, that Trump back is so instant. Beautifully recognized by Eve. Funny, I need to do more. Oh, the stall. Stall on the side, but now he's back on stage. Still with a great lead. What? That that's thing? that's the light, and that by the light I mean the thing he did to light. Yes. <laughs> Had to cancel up there. That is probably my favorite tag that I've seen Quinn do, and it's it's so clean. <laughs> it looks so nice when it works out, and it works out pretty frequently. Indeed. Oh boy. Oh, oh <laughs> my god. I feel like just like a cinder block just like drops inside of you. Whenever like you're off stage, you see Ivy come out, it's just like. I gotta get on. I gotta get back safely somehow. Ooh, that back was sneaky. Put it so deep, and, and he's, he's dead. dead. Beautiful Esgard sequence coming in from E. Yeah, E looking completely different than he did in the first set. Oh yeah. One like, thing I'm noticing here is that he's a lot more confident how like how Lucina can operate off stage. Yeah. No, his off stage play against. You know, it, it feels like every single one of them. He's edge guarding the beats. He's edge guarding the Ivysaur, the Squirtle even in that last game where he down aired him and the Zard. So none of the Pokemon are safe against this sword wielding maniac. Maniac is the right word. He's correct. The downer sunny him over there. Nice to catch him to the dare. Speaking of mania, we Hot got him slipping. Oh, and this is where things can go. Horribly awry. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped. All language functions stopped for both of us. Ew. I'm telling you, man, the quit advantage is just something mad terrifying. <laughs> it's like, it, it's. He ends up picking these like weird options that just end up leading to all this extra damage. But that's going to be another game for Mr. E, despite how terrifying that was. Jesus Christ. Uh, it's like, I just thought we were going to see a quid stop. That, that's what it was. It was like, quid gets like one hit with Ivysaur, and you just don't know what to do. You just don't know where to go. You get thrown into so many different, you get thrown into disadvantage, and you just start, just, you just get scared. You know, I'm, I'm kind of surprised he didn't read the air dodge. Because a lot of the times, when somebody knows the the, the, the potential of Quid when he gets in those situations. Mm -hmm. Like, there's fear. There is so much fear that, of course, the opponent is going to be too scared and they're going to air dodge. Yeah. So, I feel like he gave Mystery too much respect right there. Pokemon trainer. Does he want to lose? <laughs> Go Luigi. He went Luigi last night at us. I saw it and he managed to take a game. He did Zare dash attack. Uh, this is this kind of heat? This song is kind of heat. I respect it. Okay. Oh wait, is SNK music? Okay, it box. SNK does not have. SNK music does not miss. Uh, you know what else is not missing? The mark. The mark. Mr. E's Lucina. It's really not missing, especially with the edge guards. Uh oh. I don't. He held onto his jump really good right there, but did you notice the way Quid baited him into going for the ledge attack? He's been doing that a lot. <laughs> he almost got him. That was actually so close to keeping it. <laughs> Yo, we even got to see the teeter animation. We did? Oh, we, we did. Not, yeah, like, Ivy Sword teeter animation is so good. Uh, not getting off that ledge without paying taxes. That backer just keeps swinging and sending him to the blast zone. All right, back to bear. Got to go for another one. Oh! Oh! oh. <laughs> Yo, pulling it down there. That down there was kind of rude. I, uh, you know, we don't see. <laughs> <laughs> we don't see uh, Zard that often from Quid. But it is no slouch. I feel like he just, I don't know, maybe he doesn't like this hard play style, but when he needs to, he can absolutely make it work. Exactly. I mean, like, it's kind of like, those stocks all have just been taken with Zard. I love Zard up B. I had to tell <laughs> Zard up B is like one of my favorite moves in the game. It's just so silly. Yeah, it's kind of a, it's kind of a sick move.
Oh, no. So, so Squirtle down smash is deceptively uh -oh. low and lag. And uh, Mr. E is still able to punish it. Oh, man. Nice parry. Usually gets punished for that. You know, we haven't really seen... I haven't seen a forward smash come out from Mr. E yet. We almost haven't seen a forward smash quit. That's true. Ooh. That neutral air so slick, making sure to keep Mr. E all the way out there. What a beautiful tech, though. But his double jump. I think he could have he still made that back, definitely. Who if he quit? Or Mr. E. Mr. E, yeah. Quit? Yeah, probably could have. If he, Well, he, I think Mr. Like he e went all that. in. He could have, but he burned his jump. What do you mean? He burned his double jump. When, I feel like he Once jumped. Once he teched it, he could have made it back. Oh, he didn't? Uh, at the very least, he could have done the tech wall jump. Oh, yes. I mean, he could have teched it, and then he would have continued to be alive. And then um, he could have uh, gained more information. Uh, so, Mr. E, though, he's still up 2-1. He just needs to take one more game in order to reset the bracket. Whereas Quid has to get two more games in a row if he wants to keep just take the tournament without having to worry about, you know, fighting on even footing like that. Yeah, it doesn't want to deal with it. Go! This was E's counterpick? Yes, it was. Why? 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 Why would this be a counterpick? What? What? No. What? No. Do you remember what happened to you in set, the first set they played? I don't. I think he's throwing caution to the wind. They're just saying, like, uh, I'm just Cena. Uh, I can blow you up here. No, but no, it's no, like no, 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 no. Ivory Source. Ivory Source blow up, dude, is insane. On this stage, are you kidding me? With platform reset. Isn't this the stage where he did that fair, fair upper, upper, upper? Upy? Yeah. He also killed him at like 50 another time. Like, this stage is, I don't, I mean, he's doing well right now. But the thing is, if he messes up once, I, I, it's, I think there's too much risk. Just too much risk. Yeah, it's definitely a huge risk. Oh, boy. Couldn't get that grab, dude. I just keep actually going with this arc. I feel like Zard, the fear of Zard is in Mr. D right now. Okay, now it's all immediately gone. Well, the thing is that he needed, if he got hit even once, he would take so much damage from a big body like Zard at low percent. Now he wants to deal with what? Ivy Sword disadvantage? No. no I mean, his Ivy Sword disadvantage doesn't even look that bad. It's not, it's not bad, but it's against. But like, I feel like all are equal in the eyes of Mr. E's and Cena in I advantage th I, th I think it's better than the Squirtle. His disadvantage with Ivysaur has more mix-ups than the Squirtle does. Really? Yeah. Think about it. all the damage he took at the beginning of this game was from being Squirtle trapped as a ledge. Whereas when he's Ivysaur, you know, he does these cheeky things down air with the ledge cancel okay, tethers. <laughs> like, I actually think that the disadvantage from uh, Ivysaur has been better. Okay, yeah, Downthrow should do it. Yeah. Yeah. Punk is headed to the stage. Take that stock. Yeah. It feels so tiny. Oh. oh, no. Caught him playing a wonderful parry, but the up to keep that not true combo away from me. The fact that he jumps meant he didn't get hit by the sweet spot. Mr. E catching me, caught me with that a bug when I was playing. He would throw it a down tilt, then immediately up to prevent us from getting punished. Because he knows they won't like, they see down tilt up close, like, yeah, that's punishable. Psych, here's an up -y. Can't grab oh. that. Beautiful spacing. Big damage, 50% off the board, quit. <laughs> <laughs> I just, he's sending out stage, but it didn't matter. Crystal in advantage. Uh oh. Yeah, switching to Ivy Sword because he wants to get off the ledge. And he manages to do it. Mr. E respecting what the what could happen to him if he overextends while Quid is uh, you know, piloting the Ivy Sword. Oh my god. Nice reaction. Ooh, that was a good air dodge. And he's kind of just knocking on death's door right there. And there's the forward smash. We hadn't seen that from Quid at all. And this is the sort of thing where I feel like the stage might really backfire Mr. E right now. You know what I mean? Oh you know what oh I mean? Dear. What is it percent? That's terrifying. Eesh. I love this from Mr. E just hanging out on those platforms. Oh, dear God, you don't want to be up there! He wants the sour spot! I don't know if Sweet Spot would have killed him. Sweet Spot definitely would have killed Oh my God, you are right. I 
I don't think that was the right stage. I don't think it was the right stage. Look what happened. Look what ah, happened. Listen, I, that, I'm telling you, man, that game could have gone either way. That game could have gone either I know, way. But because it was on uh, on Yoshi's, that up be one of the kills on uh, on Battlefield. No, it wouldn't have. Actually, I, I don't know. I really don't know. But you know what I'm feeling? So, Salty, I don't know if you remember. 2019 Encores had a, had, a, had a trend going on. Where every grand finals was a game ten. I, I don't quote me on this. It is uh, almost midnight. I be I would be. Uh, it'd be lovely if we didn't have to stay here until like. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm scared well of. Well into Friday. Because it's from the way they're playing. It's looking like it's going to be a game ten. Oh I well, feel mystery would have to win in order for that sort of thing to That's happen. True. Quid does not want that reason. He doesn't want to play again. another set of neutral against this uh, this PT. And now here's Squir that squirt with disadvantage. He throws out aerials a lot, and mystery was just anticipating that. Oh my God! Yeah, you're dead? Soft. Jesus! This is Mr. E's counter pick again. You took him here. Yeah, Quid don't care. Quid don't care. What a conversion! Oh what a conversion Lord. from disadvantage to 46%. I don't think we're gonna have a game 10. Yeah, we're I'm gonna be honest. But uh, I'm, not, I'm not gonna count Eric out yet. Oh, and he even gets the parry right there. Parry Another again! Parry. It's this like, Quinn noticed that he was punishing him a lot for that, and so I feel like he's using a razor lead to bait E to come in. And then immediately just punishing on my channel. Let's see right there. Baited him again. Oh, and he reach. killed him oh. for it. Uh, uh, Quinn, Quinn's just popping off right now. This is a domination we haven't seen, I think, at all so far. In all of the games they've played so far. they played eight games tonight. That was the most insane thing I've seen Quinn do. He oh, combo no. the downer back uh, to up beam. What? <laughs> and it was a spot on read. Yes. He got the spot on read. Yo. <laughs> and Mr. Okay, and Mr. He's now he's mistiming. He's going, yeah, yeah. Uh, this take is, his hand. He take is sucking. All right, you know, quit slowing it down, and Mr. E is like, all right, I'll you slow it down. I'll try and open you up. Jeez. Going on all these moves. If he can take a stock here, you know that might be the beginning of a momentum shift. But yeah, yeah. oh, quit just quit is just the master of reverse throwing people, bro. I'm sorry. I don't know what that F tilt was. And another one. Ooh, was there's it on a first F smash. I know. It was like we hadn't really been seeing any F smash for these sets. But now they're coming out in force for that game four and in this game five. Mr. E, though, he has to be so careful. He's at the ledge. Ivy. He might be dying at any second right now. Oh. Hey, he's trying to like, just get some pokes in. Anything gets stuck. Something started. But Quid is just not giving it a chance. I see it too soon. Oh. Start is a double edged sword here for Mr. E. This, I love the use of double jump. Up throw. Oh, forward. That. Not do it. The air dodge. He could have punished that air dodge. Until, uh, until, uh, the ledge. I think he didn't want to risk going out there. Like, why? You know, you're doing so great already. Who did that grab? That's bad. Okay. Ooh, that's wow. That sour spot. Not even killing him across the stage. And that nair missed him. He, he, he banked it all on that nair edge guard. And you know, Quid kind of looking like he's uh, hungry for this. He's shaking his head. He, yeah, and that's, that's it. gonna be it. Yeah. And game. He gets the pop off. Quid ends up being Encore 105's grand okay. champion. Really living up to his first seating. The guy's just on a dominant. I just can't get Damn. over that second stock, yo.